Hi, today I want to talk about paddle jackets. And paddle jackets are basically that. They're a jacket that you paddle in. I think they're one of the most underrated piece of gear out there. And you know, unlike dry suits, dry suits are these thousand dollar things a lot of paddlers have. They, they keep you dry, you know, if they're in good shape. Uh, but paddle jackets have an open neck like this that you kind of close and you close the wrists up too. So water generally stays out. But if you dunk in the river, you're going to get wet. And it's not really a big deal. You know, if you're dressed with a, with a wetsuit, for example, and a, a nice fleece underneath here in this jacket, you're going to be a little cold when you fall out, but it's not terrible. And, you know, statistically, the most dangerous things about being on a river are people that are drinking, people are not wearing PFDs, and cold water immersion, which is basically you falling out of the boat into cold water, and that initial cold water shock doing something to your body. And there's a few things it can do they can cause some pretty serious medical problems. And wearing even just a paddling jacket, but ideally a paddling jacket with a wetsuit, really minimizes that danger of cold water immersion. And so, you know, if you can't afford a dry suit, for example, this is a great thing to have along with a wetsuit. Or if you own a dry suit and you paddle a lot, but sometimes it's a little too warm for one, this is a great thing to have. Or even if you're out paddling on a really warm day, uh, especially if you're on a multi-day trip, it's nice to have one of these kind of packed away in case the weather does change or something changes so you can throw this on. I think that partially for comfort, but there's also that safety in case of the cold water immersion that can happen when you fall out. Or if you're with somebody who needs to warm up, you have it for them. And you know, finally, they also double as a great rain jacket. So if you have them with you and you just want to have a rain jacket to wear in a town or something, these are perfect. They're a little dorky to wear in a town but they're, they're perfectly adequate for a rain jacket. Um, and you know, if you look at paddle jackets, there's a huge variety of, of types and qualities. You know, I really like this Kokotat one. This is a Kokotat Gore-Tex jacket. It's about 200 bucks. You know, you can get cheaper ones that, you know, down to like 100 bucks, 80 bucks even, but you kind of get what you pay for. So if you can afford it, I'd recommend checking out this Kokotat Gore-Tex one. It has a great range of motion. It, I mean, it's gonna last you a long time. It's made out of great materials. And I know Kokotat's a good company that backs up, backs up their product. Now, the one thing I want to finish with, I'm an outfitter. I run wrapping trip. So there's my logo. Um, and I've looked into offering dry suits for my guests. And we've tried it. And I just, I, I, it doesn't really work for us. Uh, we have a hard time to zippers break, gaskets break. We have a hard time maintaining them. And for some reason, when guests use them, we have more struggles than normal with dry suits. And when a, when a dry suit gets a hole in it, or a zipper won't close, or a gasket breaks, they actually become a danger. And so for that reason, I've chosen not to offer dry suits, even on our coldest trips. Uh, it's mainly just because they don't really work that well. And what I've chosen to do instead is buy really high quality wetsuits that are comfortable, along with these really high quality jackets. And so I really like these Kokotat ones for outfitting. Now they're expensive. A lot of the outfitters don't can't afford to spend $200 per jacket when you have to buy a hundred of them or 200 of them. That makes sense. But uh, for those of us that are doing multi-day trips and we're just doing like Oahe trips or early season middle fork of the salmon trips, you know, the Illinois or Tuolumne, something where cold is a factor and you're considering going with dry suits, I highly recommend going with this first. It's more durable, it's user friendly, guests understand it, they can put it on. And I think that the danger of dry suits where you could have a whole a gasket rip or a zipper break is pretty something to think about where these you know you don't have to worry about it. if they get a tear they don't become dangerous so that's all i have on paddling jackets in general i'll put a link down in the in the link section below about this coquitat one and if, as always if you have questions comments everything please start a discussion i'd love to hear what you think all right thanks see you next time